If you're looking to get rich quick in Sekiro, then follow exactly what I do in this video. A lot of people seem to think the Senpar Temple farm with the monks is the best one, but I'll give you 5 reasons at the end why this farm is better, if not the best. I'll also reveal just how great the money per run and per hour is doing this. Now at the start of the video, you'll notice I used the Mibu Wealth Balloon. Its sole purpose is to increase the amount of Sen you receive for a limited time, so you may as well use all of them here. Now with these nobles, don't be afraid of the flutes that they play, because they can't actually reach you when there's a wall or a bridge in the way, so use this to your advantage and kill them quickly. Now as the balloon time is limited, avoid getting into any long battles with these ninjas to maximise the money gained, we're mostly targeting the noble dudes. At this point you'll have more enemies chasing you after you reach the end of this path. Just avoid these ninjas and death blow the remaining nobles in the same order as I do. As long as you keep moving and jumping, you should be able to avoid any hits. Now I've done this farm multiple times and I can tell you it's incredibly consistent. The enemies are always in the exact same spot, the scent is always the same amount and you're never waiting around doing nothing. So it's actually quite enjoyable to do. But one thing you should do before this farm is to get the two virtuous deed skills from the temple art scroll. The scroll itself is located right at the end of the Senpal temple area. The reason is because they increase the amount of scent and items dropped. You should also have the demon bell on to increase the rare item drop rates as well. The materials are usually used for prosthetic tool upgrades, but if you don't need them anymore, you can sell them for even more scent if you want. Now this is important. The wealth balloon is still active and if you warp using the idol, it will lose its effect. So to maximise the use of the wealth balloon, you need to follow this slightly different but easier route on the way back. This way we'll just be running back and forth between the two idols, but you gain a crap load of scent along the way. Following this route, the Mibu balloon expires about 10 seconds after I complete the run. So I found that this is the most optimal route you can take, but I would suggest it's best to practice the route a couple of times before using the balloons. That way you won't waste any of them. Now let's get down to some interesting numbers. So this run takes roughly two and a half minutes to do. With the wealth balloons used, you get roughly 3,200 sen for every run. That equates to a massive 70,000 sen per hour. Obviously we have limited balloons, so once they're used up, you'll still get around 2,200 sen without the balloons, and that equates to just under 50,000 sen per hour. Needless to say, you probably won't need to farm sen ever again after this. Now the hugely popular Senpao Temple farm is the one that all online videos will show you to do. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty sick when you do it and it's quite satisfying to do. Now this farm involves luring all the monks in the area to one location and then using the golden vortex tool on all of them. They end up vanishing and dropping all their money and materials which you can then absorb. But as I said in the beginning, I'm going to give you 5 big reasons why the farm I showed you is better. Number 1. You get 6 times more XP. Now although you're just farming for Sen, you get roughly 530 XP for killing each noble. Compare that to a stingy 87 XP for killing each monk. Number 2. It requires the golden vortex tool, and most people won't get this until very late game. Number 3. Spirit emblems are wasted. Yeah, you can always buy more spirit emblems, but that's going to eat into the money that you just farm, whereas the fountainhead farm doesn't cost you anything. Number 4. It can take longer. Runs can vary for each player, but you can expect it to take anywhere between 2 to 4 minutes depending on your skill and how long it takes for the monks to gather. Number 5. Old videos show that you can get over 3000 sen, but when I do it I only get 1000 sen without the balloon and about 1500 with the balloon. Either it's been patched or those videos were done on New Game Plus. But it is a good farm for Arco Sugar. Now I can't deny, farming at Senpao looks pretty cool, but is it still worth it? Let me know which farm you guys prefer in the comments. I'll leave links in the description to my membership page where you can get cool perks, my equipment used and what videos you can watch next. Be sure to check them out, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.